What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Well today we're gonna start working on the company van. Uh, we're actually gonna Rhino Raptor line the floor, whatever it's called. It actually I have the counter on here. It's called Herculiner. So the point of this is the floor is gonna get really beat up. I'm gonna put a bunch of these tools, my tool, my toolbox is inside there, my my jack is gonna be rolling all this. And this is painted on the factory color of the actual van. And that's, it's not gonna hold it. It's already the little rust spots from my jack is coming through. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tape off from right here, the wheel well and down in that area, all the little trim right there. Everything's gonna be touching equipment and all that stuff. It's gonna be Herculined uh, for better texture. It's like a bed liner material. And that way it has more grip, you know, I can throw my stuff around and no worries of scratching the van more than it's going to get scratched. But uh, I'll show you step by step how I'm going to do this and the beginning, the before and then the after outcome. Stay tuned. So you can actually tape off what you do not want to get painted. I want to get everything painted. In this case, the trim. So, that's how it looks. Make sure you clean it up a little bit before doing this. I think it's not that dirty, just a little couple stubs. I'm not sure if it's gonna have the texture on the trim, but I wanted to match for the rest of the car. But so far, the hinges are coming out good. I mean, then the little hinges where seats used to go. And now I'm gonna start doing the edges all around. I'm not too worried about painting over the thing because I'm end up doing like a little wall around here. It's gonna go over the well. So I shouldn't be worried too much about it, but let me try to make as clean as possible. You could mask that off if you want to, but I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me. I'll do the rest of the car then. fast forward once you rhino lined it uh rhino raptor hercule liner and all the same thing the bed liner material it will leave this texturized thing so wait about 30 minutes and do a second coat i used two full bottles of them and i actually went up a little bit higher again this, i'm gonna end up covering all this up to the wheel well but for now just cover it all better protected anyways and um yeah so you see the whole floor i hercule lined it and it has i don't know if you can see in the video but it has that texture already so first coat 30 minutes wait after i do a second coat and uh i'm really happy with the results even the trim came out a little bit rugged like that this is my second coat, so that's why I'm not touching it yet, but 
Okay, and the shine has a little texture. Overall, I really like how it came out. Came out really good. I'll show you guys once I actually put my stuff in how it looks. All right, guys, here's the finished product. So I really like how it came out. It has a little rugged texture. I'm still letting it dry. I'm letting it vent out from both sides and back door. But it came out really good. I'm really happy. Especially this part. This part was rusted. And my toolbox is in. I just got bolted down. But I'm really happy how it came out. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get more videos just like this one. I will be doing a lot more transit videos uh, for our transit followers and uh, DUI, DIY projects um, for the van. And it's going to be my work van. So I'll be bringing more uh, projects along for all different types of vehicles now that I'm mobile. Once again, thank you guys for all the support. Uh, you can follow down below on our social media. Instagram and, and uh, Facebook. We're very uh, active there. And uh, please comment down below what you'd like to see in the future. I have a lot of stuff planned for this one just to make it a nice uh, work van. So until the next one, guys.